Hi guys. Happy hashtag freaking awesome Friday. How about that one? Um, anyway, I hope everyone is enjoying this beautiful, beautiful spring slash almost summer weather. Uh, this is Scott Aaron coming to you from beautiful Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I wanted to jump on today. It was something that Nancy and I were actually talking about. What's up, Steve? Hi, Bonnie. Um, it was something that we were talking last night. You know, we listen to a lot of podcasts. We we read a lot of books. We listen to a lot of books. And we just noticed that there's, there is a, a trend, a theme that basically can be dissected from everything that you listen to, everything that you read, every thought leader that you follow. Hi, Nancy. So what's up, Doug? And if you guys are just jumping on, say hi and where you're coming in from. And again, um, if you would like, I do have an ebook on similar content to this. Um, I highly encourage you to like and share it and just hit I shared. And I will obviously send this out to you a little bit later. So if you do share the content, just leave in the comment section below I shared and I'd be happy to give you something. Hi, Ginny. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Brian. Good to see you guys on here. So I wanted to talk about three things that I notice and hear, and this is something, again, that Nancy and I talked about. And if you guys would like a copy of an ebook that I can send you, all you have to do is like it, share it, let me know that you shared it, and I'll send it to you a little bit later. Okay. So the three things that, that Nancy and I have learned and are picking up from everything that we read and listen to, number one, that and I, I want to preface this by saying that a lot of the things that, that people want out of their life, these are the three things that, that, in our opinion, all these top performers, thought leaders that are living a great life, these are three things they continually talk about. So number one is your circle of influence. Circle of influence. And you hear this all the time. You will become... Uh, you will become who you surround yourself with, or you your success is going to be within ten percent of what your circle of influence makes. But but that's that's big. I mean, think about that for a second. You know, who you spend the most time with is who you become. So, are you spending your time with people that have broke thoughts or live paycheck to paycheck or week to week or just getting by? Or do you work, you know, do you work or surround yourself with people that, you know, are just thinking prosperously, that are always looking for, you know, how to better themselves and how to create more wealth by pouring into others and are always open to opportunities? If that all makes sense, if you're on here either live or on the replay, Type a Y or yes in the chat box just so I know that you guys are resonating with this and understanding because your circle of influence uh, absolutely will dictate where you're going in life. And it's no one's fault. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Hashtag get some is right. James says yes. You know, and this is no fault. Like, I'm just going to tell you guys, like, no one is to blame um, for anything. You know, it, it's no one's fault who you're surrounding yourself with, because if you have a job or you're in a profession where, you know, you are basically succumbing to those people that are around you because that's where you work, that's okay. But what you choose after all of that is said and done is completely up to you. So your circle of influence absolutely will affect your lack of success or your continued success. And again, if you're just popping on, as Brian did, like it, share it. I will send you guys an ebook a little bit later. You just got to give me your email address either through a private message or in here. So the number two thought, uh, belief, and, and, and teachings of thought leaders that we keep seeing trending is having positive thoughts and beliefs, thinking positively and believing in yourself. These are the things. What up? What's up, Joe? So these are the things that, that I keep hearing about and Nancy keeps hearing about and I'm sure other people. Hi, Tiffany. All these thought leaders, Tony Robbins, Simon Sinek, 
you know, I saw the amazing Lori Harder on Impact Theory, Tom Bailu. If you don't follow Tom, Impact Theory on YouTube. Lori was just his guest this past week. It was incredible seeing someone that you know and you've spoken to and spent time with on there. And, you know, everyone talks about having positive thoughts, having beliefs in yourself. What negative person do you know is the thought leader? Anyone that gets on stage at either a convention in a company you're with or a book that you're reading or an event that you go to, how many curmudgeons, how many uh, negative people, how many Debbie Downers do you see getting up on stage being like, life sucks, you know, you're never going to achieve anything, you know, positivity is, you know, you got to be negative. No, they talk about having positive thoughts to reinforce where you're going. To, to believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in you, you can't expect anybody else to believe in you. So again, I do have an ebook um, that I can send you guys, like it, share it, and obviously I can send this to you guys a little bit later. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Luna. What's up, Kev? Hi, Betsy. So again, these are three common things that Nancy and I have noticed that thought leaders are always talking about. And number one was your circle of influence. And number two was positive thoughts and beliefs. Now, number three, and this is something that actually Joe and Alonzo and I just spoke about this morning, and this is big. This is the big, big, big practice that I think a lot of people, they don't struggle with, but it's something that they're just, it's hard to sometimes find. Hi, Tracy. So again, if you're just popping on, say hi and where you're coming in from. If you hit the like button and share this, let me know that you shared it with your email address and I'd be happy to send you an ebook a little bit later um, just as a little gift for obviously allowing my voice to spread. So number three, the number three thing that I hear most thought leaders and big thinkers talk about constantly all the time, gratitude. And you hear it all the time, gratitude is the best attitude. You know, and it's, and Joe just said it, what you think about, you bring about. It's the truth. Gratitude. You have to be grateful for everything that you have in your life right now. And, and I know that there might be people on here live or on the replay, and you might be saying to yourself, well, Scott, I don't, things aren't going right for me. I don't know how to be grateful right now because I have this going on. I have that going on. I have this going on. Hi, Joyce. But here's the thing, and at, you have to start with simple acts of gratitude, simple things of gratitude. Thank you, Steve, and I appreciate it. If you are on this Facebook Live and you are hearing what I'm saying, if you are seeing me right now, be grateful for your sight and your hearing. Gratitude starts at a foundational level, and then you can be great, grateful for other things, but you know, Betsy can be grateful for being on her phone watching me watch her, while her kids are at the pool swimming having a good time. That is something to be grateful for. You know, Joe can be grateful for that him and I had an internet connection where we had an awesome, you know, hour conversation this morning, running water. Um, you know, gratitude is the best attitude. I can't express to you this, uh, guys enough. Every book that you're going to read, every speaker that you're going to hear talk they are going to mention at some point in their talk, in their speech, about their circle of influence, about being grateful, and about having positive thoughts and beliefs in themselves. So if you guys want to break life down into three key principles, it, it is these three key principles. So number one, focus on the circle of influence that you have around you because who you spend the most time with is who you become. Having those positive thoughts and belief in you that you can achieve everything and having gratitude. Be grateful. So here's what I want you guys to do. So I know that you guys are with me. I want you guys to go on my wall and I want you to leave me one thing that you're grateful for. So go on my wall, write me a post and just say, Scott, today I am grateful and whatever it is for. I want you to make a post, tag me in it and let me know what you're grateful for because everyone needs to see how much beauty is really out there. So guys, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Love you all so much. So remember, be careful the circle of influence. Have those positive thoughts and beliefs. And gratitude is truly the best attitude. Love you all. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will speak to you soon. Thank you, Joyce. Bye, everybody.